like a play a little bit like a traditional Marth kind of game. Forward airs, forward airs. Basically, rush down pressure. with a sword because that's what Krom is. Like if you want to break down archetypes, um, he's he's is, he is a rush down character who just happens to have a sword. Um, anyway, it looks like we're getting Luck and a hero next. So this will be cool. Um, Luck been going basically a bunch of characters, kind of like the end of Smash Four. Um, not sure if he has a real main yet. He could just go random, honestly. And then Hero, been rocking the wolf uh, since the start of Ultimate. And why not? That character's very well-rounded. Um, a lot of kill power, some really good zoning tools. He can do a little bit of everything. You know, someone asked a question in the chat, and first of all, thank you for doing so. Give us a shout-out in the chat. We really appreciate you. Is Ike high tier in Smash Ultimate? And I, I'd say yes, personally. He is right now. Um, again, the, I think the main thing is that if people stop, uh, if people start getting really good at parrying, I can see him falling off a lot. But it also opens up his uh, his tomahawk game ability, so we'll have to see him further down the line. But right now, absolutely. Anyway, we're going to PS2 Hero versus Luck, rocking the Falco, a spacey on spacey matchup, rocking the best Falco alt, by the way. I love the love the white jacket with green. It is pretty sweet. Mm. White jackets. Shout outs. I'm not saying that just because I own one. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, just feeling each other out with back airs. Luck coming in with the Falco's new up tilt. And my new up tilt, like, I mean, new game's up tilt. Uh, yeah. Arguably the best up tilt in the game. That move combos extremely reliably and hits a lot of characters on the ground and uh, in, and behind him. But uh, Logan, or uh, uh, luck with the quick lead so far. And he's been uh, doing well. And luck has always been one of the better fundamental players that we've had here at the laboratory. I mean, he, I've seen him play so many characters and doing so at Ooh. a relatively high level. I mean, good enough to beat just about anyone that he comes up with on a... On a, on a daily basis. However, oh, he's going to make it back here. Okay, now that was like a little that. scary. I thought he was going to back air him, but Wolf's back air is very, is very strong, but has a lot of startup. So the Nair was just the better choice in terms of uh, covering options quickly. Yeah, no, not going for the highlight real kill there, and yeah. discretion being the better part of Valor for Hero. Nice double jumping back on with the forward air. Aggressive double jump works out for him. And, uh, I mean, what is the because uh, people a mm. lot of uh, a lot of the top Smash minds out there saying that Wolf is the best Spacey in the game. Uh, you, is there a, is that a point of contention with you? I absolutely don't agree with that one bit. Fox is ridiculously good, but Wolf's very good. I'd say he's probably the second best one right now. But okay. no, I, I've I've seen I've seen one or two people say that. Obviously, the majority with Fox, but no, oh, fair enough. Gotcha. But anyway, Wolf is basically kind of like a... Um, Arguing with Infinite Omega in production. Wolf's, Wolf's basically what I would imagine is uh, the space animal version of Sheik, just with a worse recovery, but with a little more power to him. As I see, he basically has Sheik fair there, stringing a couple on. Yeah, something to say about that. I mean, when it hits, it hits. But... Future layer. Oh, he's got no jump. He, he does make stage. Leffen would be very upset with this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh wow. forward smash. That jab having a lot of lag, able to punish it with just an F smash out of shield. Wolf's F smash, a move you don't want to mess with. Has very low lag, very safe on shield as a result. Yeah, has a lot of power. Yeah, you're telling me. I mean, and he caught all of it to take that second stock. And now Luck all of a sudden losing two uh, two consecutive stocks. After a bit of a lead, Jib slam. I, I assume he wanted to run with that. Two consecutive down throws and right. Luck right now looking like he's on the ropes. I like Hero's game plan. He's um he's trying to go for down throw to just force tech chase opportunities and Wolf having a lot of uh, powerful options like down smash to punish those. What I'd like to see more potentially is just like run up and jab. Um, if you ever notice that look uh, stops teching it for whatever reason, but right now the game plan's working. Air dodge downwards. See that's how you use it. And, I, and that's something that I need to learn myself because that is a lot of end lag on dodges. Yeah. It also increases the window that you can punish it on two frame, I think, for most characters. But you gotta be ready for it, because it's still technically unreactable. <laughs> this is true. Shield that that, that F-tilt pretty safe. And the back air, like you said, it's a big, meaty back air. You mm -hmm. just gotta know when to throw it out. A lot of kill power on that. Yeah. Started it up just in time and came out right in the face of that Falco. And that's gonna put Hero up one to nil. So Luck obviously doing, uh, doing a lot of things right. But upon what can he improve? I mean, what do you expect the stage counter pick to be, first of all? Um, I actually, I really don't know. Um, I, I don't play either of these characters uh, enough. And I know they're, um, Wolf especially is really well-rounded, so he probably doesn't have too much care about what he wants to ban, except, unless he doesn't like Yoshi's or WarioWare. Fair enough. But um, in terms of what Luck was doing, um, I think it was just, he had enough, he had kind of, he had some trouble just wrestling the lead back. Like, every, he had to approach more um, when he uh, lost the second stock and just, like, 
Hero was just ready to wait him out and punish him for all of his aggression. So He's chasing the game. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. And luck also a million characters. And opting to go Richter. This is interesting actually. Might as well space him out. The question is, is uh does Hero have the movement ability with Wolf to to rush down Lux Richter? Jumping right in with the forward air to start off game number two. Well, the thing is, I don't know if he necessarily needs the movement because Wolf does have his down B reflector, which can definitely take a lot of the pressure of projectiles off. It's more of a matter of can he contend with that F tilt. And Wolf, I think, can do just fine because uh, the main way that you approach through that whip is to just go above it because uh, Belmonts do not have a bunch of, do not have really good anti-air options. So if you can jump over it with a good approaching aerial like Wolf's forward air, you should have a good enough time. That's true. I mean, pretty much everything that goes upward has a. You're pretty much married to that throw arc. Ooh, that was really axe. good. That was so good. He forced oh, the tech, wow. forced the tech situation with the late nair and charged up down smash, which would have covered a missed tech or a tech roll behind. I Luck mean, picking the tech roll behind when tech roll away would have saved him. But very good option coverage. Beautifully done by Hero. I mean, that's uh, you narrow it down to to one option. That's generally how uh. How these players make it look so easy, and that's the thing that uh, personally I struggle with is how oh, do you that, make that was, it look? That, was, oh a, that was a great nair, recognizing that Luck had uh, used up his um, <laughs> <laughs> the how? used up his air dodge. So you have to go out in there and hit them somehow. We wasn't able to make it back from that angle. Hero living up to the name, going beyond beast mode here, and could he be looking for that neutral air again? No, he will not. He wants he to end him. <laughs> He's going off stage every time. I love it. And hey, it's a game that rewards aggression, as mentioned prior, but oh, looking for that uh, forest mash. Luck maybe getting a little antsy here. All right, another down throw. Misses attack. Okay. Oh. If that was a pivot grab, would have gotten it, but it's fine. You got a lead. <laughs> Parries the axe. Parrying axe. You know, parrying projectile is not the best thing, but axe, a lot of shield damage, so parrying that, always good to save yourself. Oh, calls back out air. the ledge jump with that back air. That was a thick bear, a three stock from Hero. Three stock victory. Anyway, from Hero. I'll see you guys in a bit, but I got to play right now, so I'll leave you to Stu. Travis D, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, I always learn so much whenever you get on the microphone, so definitely enjoy uh, whenever you hop on with me. Thank you, Travis D. And, folks, hopefully you picked up something from yourself as well, something that improves your game, something that uh, really just makes you smile, whatever the case may be. Either way, want to thank you all for joining us here. Twist.tv slash bros underscore calamity, and indeed, uh, YouTube.com slash bros calamity vods. Folks, we're going to throw it over to Infinite.